Okay, I want to talk a little bit about burnout and um, feeling as if you want to give up after you've had established your business and after you've had stable work in for a while. And because I feel like this is something that affects a large n number of technicians, but nobody really speaks up about it. Um, they kind of just hide it. Um, and I want to talk about what you can do for this, what I've done for this because I've been here, and um, why you shouldn't just give up and sell your business or get out of your business because of this. So oftentimes, if you work like me, and a lot of small business owners do, you know, seven days a week, late at night, constantly with, you know, a, a fairly unhealthy personal life, you're going to get burned out. It's it's going to happen. I've been burned out. Um, it's part of it, you know, where you just, you, you procrastinate. Here's the thing. When you start getting burned out, you start procrastinating. So that's one of the biggest warning signs that you're getting burned out is you procrastinate. So eventually, if you get burned out, if you're not like giving up this is something that has affected me and um it's it's probably going to happen to probably i'd say like 90 percent of people that work like that you know where they just don't take any breaks whatsoever and they just keep going and going and going um and i've so a lot of, a lot of people message me when when um you know i'm one thing that kind of keeps me going in this business is that a lot of people look up to me. They look up to me as somebody for, you know, for advice and stuff like that. And I'm very, I'm very grateful for that. So I try and help when I can. So what I see from both myself and a lot of people that get burned out is the personal life thing. So what I think, I think in your business and, and being burned out, having a healthy personal life, which I haven't figured out how to do yet, is kind of crucial to not getting burned out. But if you're like me or a lot of the other technicians in this industry, then you're going to get burned out. So when you get burned out, so here's how I get burned out. This is what leads to my burnout and what has lead, led to my burnout. So sometimes you get sent really lousy repairs that you just can't fix. So, you know, you'll try for, you know, for a good seven hours on this and then the customer you tell the customer that or the customer starts complaining about where where their macbook is or why is it taking so long and they just want to send it to someone else because you're taking so long on it now picture this picture spending your whole day trying to figure out something for someone and then that one customer coming back and just telling you how bad of a service you offer because after you've just spent you know five to six hours straight on their board trying to solve it now that doesn't feel very good and that that's something that will lead to burnout so when you focus on this and how are kind of at least how how i figured out my brain is wired is i tend to focus on more of the negative things than the positive things so if you get let's say four bad customers in a week right you have four bad customers in a week that have just kind of you know just kind of messed you up now you will kind of dwell on those customers but you won't think about the 30 other people that you made happy with your services so one of the big things that has helped me to avoid or at least get out of burnout is just don't listen to the people that aren't happy with your service. If someone wants to complain and complain about how you're taking so long to figure out why their CPU isn't sending out some random enable signal for, for you know, something that they, they want on their computer to work, like, you know, to have it turn on, something like that. Um, for those kind of people that complain about that, that you are legitimately trying for, just just send it back. Get it, get it, get it back to them. Have it, have them pick it up. Bring it somewhere else. Whatever. Send it back as a no fix. Obviously, don't try not to you know be rude, but just yeah, just get. You, if you're a store owner, you know what I mean. Just get them out of there. Um, because those kind of people dealing with those kind of people constantly, they are going to lead to your burnout. Now, one of the best things that I think I have done is put my foot down for this. So, I don't. You could say this. I don't really take nonsense from from customers if you walk into my store being rude if you start insulting me this is something that i i've never i've i don't truly understand how someone's brain is like this when i'm working on your device and then you start insulting me for my age or from something else do you really think i'm going to work on your device anymore do you think i'm going to want to help you no because you just turned something so minor you know because your your whatever your device took a day longer than you thought it would and you started insulting me do you think i want to help you with anymore no so when you get people like this this is one of the main things that you need to look at is if you are burned out look at your customers look at what kind of customers you're focusing on or what kind of customers what kind of customer experience is staying in your mind and change stuff from there so if you're focusing on the negative customers figure out who those negative customers are and then stop 
reverse this. Think about all the people that you made happy. Think about that one person that was quoted $1,700 from the Apple store to fix their A1706 that you fixed for $400 and that they're happy and they you know, left you a five-star review. Focus on those customers, not the customers that have a problem with you because the problem customers, the customers that are rude, if you focus on those, it is 100% going to lead to burnout. It's going to lead you to be negative. It's going to lead you to be miserable and that's no way to go through running your business because if you start getting burnt out and you start getting negative, that is going to drag down your business. It's going to drag down your customer service. Um, now, if you ever get a customer that affects how you treat your other customers, so if you picture this way, if you have one customer that makes you hate the rest of your customers for no reason because they're really that bad of a person, and trust me, you will get people like this. You will get people that will just, that they are just awful people to deal with. If you get anyone that makes you deal with your other customers badly, get that one person out. Seriously, get them out, fire them, get them as far away from coming back to you as you can. Now, when you're starting, this is hard to do. This is hard to turn away money, but trust me, do it. If there is a customer that is actively a headache, that is constantly bothering you, that is constantly turning you off from your rest, the rest of your customers, get that person out of, you, out of there as quick as you can because it's only going to hurt you in the long term. If you're still starting and there's one of those customers, then yeah, just, just get them out. There will be more. Trust me when I say there will be more. But as store owners, we get that sometimes. We get miserable people. But the best thing you can do to avoid burnout or one of the best things you can do is just don't deal with those people. Find a way to get rid of them and, and focus on the people that actually care about your business that will want to pay your rates. And this is like the price haggling thing. Yeah. I don't do that here. If you say, can can you do better? Nope, I cannot do better. No. Do you do dealing with those people all day? They will lead to burnout in and of themselves. So that's just get them out and move on and focus on your, your positive customers. The second thing that I found leading to my burnout is when I have stuff sitting. So when stuff, when I have a large number of devices in queue, yeah, sometimes stuff sits. It's, it happens. It's, it, it, it's unavoidable to happen when you have that much stuff in. So, you know, you're you're only human. You can only get to so much stuff at at one time. So when something sits, and this is something, here's the thing: if you if you're an end user or you're thinking about s sending a device into someone, never tell a technician there is no rush on this, because what happens when you tell a technician that is they put it at the end of their line. So they'll they'll tell themselves, "I'll get to this tomorrow." Well, they finish everything. They finish everything they have to do tomorrow, and then they see that one thing is on their list, and they think, well, they said, no, Rosh, you know what? I'll get to it tomorrow. Well, tomorrow turns into a month, then two months, then three months. So never tell a t technician that. But when you get these devices from time to time, that thought at the end of the day, what you're going to tell yourself, I'll get to that tomorrow. That one thought, okay, that one thought that you've told yourself tomorrow, and you never got to it that day, you, you guys know what I mean if you've done this, that that kind of thought will kind of invoke failure in your mind that you failed to get done the task that um, that you wanted to get done, done that day. So once that happens, you come in the next day, you, you're already kind of thinking, you know what, man, I didn't get that done. You know what, I already kind of failed today. I didn't, I didn't get that done, but you know what, I'm going to come in here today and I'm going to do it. Then you realize, you know what, FedEx just showed up. They brought 20 MacBooks. I have to fix all those. And then at the end of the day comes again, tomorrow you tell yourself again I'll fix that tomorrow and then you, you think again that you failed by not fixing that one thing and slowly over time that thought is just going to bother you more and more and more and when you have something sitting for a while um, it just tends to just cause you to feel burnt out when you don't do that one task so if you have one of those tasks that you are waiting on doing or that you're telling yourself tomorrow stop right now do it right now because we both know that tomorrow isn't going to come and that's something that i'm guilty of i've done it i kind of have to do a data recovery that i've been telling myself um you know tomorrow for a, a large amount of time that's another that's the second thing that causes burnout with me your situation may be different but you need to have a clean queue and a clean a clean schedule. I would say another thing is scheduling. So you'll get burned out if your days are unscheduled. You need to f you need to plan your day. Um, this is something I do maybe 10% of the time and that I need to change that because like I said before, I'm burnt out too. I That's why I'm making this video. Um, because people, you know, people have asked me to, but it, it's, it's fairly easy to go to, to get burned out, but it's a lot harder to come out. But 
if you do the if you look at your business about what's going on with burnout why are you getting burnt out like i said before the customers or having stuff that's been sitting in your queue that's the two biggest things uh, for me you have to think about what is causing you to be burned out like i said each situation is going to be different but if you look at the situation if you look at your situation and just sit down and think for five minutes with a clear mind you can usually figure out what's causing yourself to be burned out whether it be nightmare jobs whether it's customers whether it's something outside of your work this is another huge thing that gets a lot of people is factors outside of their business that causes them to be burned out within their business that's another thing but i really can not speak on that because there's hundreds and hundreds of different possible things that someone could be going through but you need to sit down and think about what is causing your burnout whatever it is think of a way to solve it whether like i said customers fire customers get that thing that, that you've been putting off done um, if there is if you, let's say your office is messy and causing you to be unproductive clean your office before doing anything else whatever is causing you to be burned out stop for a few take a day off whatever look back on what's going on with a clear mind think about how you can solve it and then solve it once you solve the factors that are causing you to be burned out which often are not like it's not often so what a lot of people think i'm burned out i must need to i must have to figure out something else to do with my life no look look at you, what's going on in your current situation look at what's bothering you there's something that's bothering you there can't or I should say there's usually something that or there's usually a list of little things that are getting to you that are causing you to be in that mindset. So just s take a step back, think about it and then make steps, whatever those whatever that whatever it is that's bothering you, put a plan together to solve it. After you solve that, you will start feeling a ton better and you'll start getting getting stuff done again.